Okay, we will solve the problems based on the passive microwave components and we'll start our first problem. That is a signal of power 32 milliwatt is fed into one of the collinear ports of a lossless H plenty. Determine powers in the remaining ports when other ports are terminated with the match termination. Now we'll uh, list out what is given here for the H plenty. Then we'll talk about the scattering matrix of the H plenty and then we'll solve this particular problem. So in the solution, I can see here, whatever things are given is nothing but the a2 is equal to a3 let us assume that a1 ko apne 32 milliwatt power diya hai theek hai and when it comes to the scattering matrix of your uh, uh, h plenty first we'll talk about the characteristics we'll like b is equal to scattering matrix into the inputs so here b1 b2 b3 these are nothing but the outputs as per our definition and your scattering matrix here is nothing but the s11 now i'll just write the scattering matrix as we know it's 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by root 2 this is minus 1 by 2 this will be 1 by 2 1 by root 2 then 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 and it will be a zero and the inputs now here inputs are given a1 is equal to 30 milli sorry 32 milliwatt a2 0 a3 is also 0 okay now here if i talk about the b1 so b1 is equal to one half now this is the scattering coefficient so you need to square them first this is the power power is nothing but the v square by r okay so ye aapka coefficient hai to aapko isko square karna padega theek hai into 32 milliwatts so you can say this will be 1 by 4 into 32 milliwatt which comes as a 6 sorry 8 milliwatt similarly for b2 you can go for this kind of a calculation b2 is a one half like minus one half square into 32 milliwatts because other things are zero again into 32 milliwatt which comes as a 8 milliwatt now what about the p3 b3 is 1 by root 2 square into 32 milliwatt a1 hai aapka, theek hai? plus 1 by root 2 into a2 that is 0 is bhi square karna padega. so here it will be 1 by 2 into 32 milliwatt so here 16 milliwatt so the power is nothing but the Aapka B1 mein 8 milliwatt hai, B2 mein 8 milliwatt hai, aur B3 mein 16 milliwatt hai. And as we know the characteristic, B3 must be B1 by B2, which is nothing but the 8 plus 8, that is 16 milliwatt. And if you add all the power, the total power will be 32 milliwatt. So this is the way how you can solve the problem. The next problem is similar as the H plane T. Theek hai, aapka H plane T hi hai. Lekin yaha pe aapka jo power hai, that is 20 milliwatt. Now it if i uh, draw this particular the 20 milliwatt of power is given to the port number three so this power you have given to the port number three one okay this is perfectly matched to uh, the port that third port then calculate the power delivered to the load 60 ohm and 75 ohm so ye terminate kiya hai 60 ohm se ye terminate kiya hai 75 ohm se let one port and a two port Okay. Now you need to calculate what will be the power delivered. If you see the ideal characteristics of your H plane T, whatever you give to the port number 3 gets equally divided into port number 1 and a port number 2. So 10 milliwatt and 10 milliwatt. As they are not perfectly matched, this is 60 ohm, you need to find out the reflection coefficient here. Okay. So power deliver to the port one so if i take the example of port one it is terminated with the 60 ohm so my z0 will be 50 ohm for rectangular waveguide aapka z0 50 ohm hota hai. so the reflection coefficient will be zl minus z0 divided by zl plus z0 so 60 minus 50 divided by 60 plus 50 which is nothing but the i think 10 110 which is 1 by 11 okay now whenever you say what will be the power reflected then you need to consider this particular reflection coefficient and a square of reflection coefficient into 10 of milliwatt so 1 by 11 square into 10 milliwatt okay ye aapka reflected power hai. or delivered power is say subtract hoga. Okay? so if this is the reflected power 
आई कैन से इफ आई मल्टीप्लाइड आई गेट अट नॉट एट टू सिक्स सो ये जो भी आपका रिफ्लेक्टेड पावर है पॉइंट नॉट एट टू सिक्स है ठीक है एंड दिस विल बी इन द मिली बैट सो इफ दिस इज द रिफ्लेक्टेड पावर वॉट विल बी द पावर डिलीवर्ड टू पोर्ट वन so your power delivered will be 10 milliwatt minus 0.0826 so if i subtract it from this one it comes 9.92 milliwatt similarly if i talk about the port number 2 ye maine port number 1 ko jo power delivered to port 1 now when i talk about the port number 2 i need to find out the reflection coefficient rho is equal to zl minus z0 divided by zl प्लस जेड जीरो जेड एल क्या है आपका यहाँ पे सेवेंटी फाइव पोर्ट टू आपका सेवेंटी फाइव से टर्मिनेट किया है सो दिस इज सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस फिफ्टी विच कम्स वन बाई फाइव नाउ आई न्यू टू स्क्वायर दिस ऑल्सो ठीक है सो वेन इट कम्स टू पावर रिफ्लेक्टेड आई न्यूड टू कंसिडर माई रिफ्लेक्शन को इफिशियंट का स्क्वायर इन टू टेन मिली वैट सो इट कम्स वन बाई टू फाइव इन टू टेन मिली वैट विच इज नथिंग बट द आई जस्ट try to calculate which comes point 4 this is the reflected power what will be the power delivered to the port 2 then i need to subtract this power sorry delivered to port 2 this is 10 milliwatt minus point 4 which comes if i calculate this power this comes 9.6 milliwatt theek hai so you can say that power delivered to the port number 1 is sorry so power delivered to the port number 1 is 9.92 milliwatt and power delivered to the port number 2 will be 9.6 milliwatt so this is all about the powers now the next problem is based on the isolator now when it comes to the isolator uh, what is given that will see first insertion loss is given that is 0.5 db the isolation is given that is 30 db and okay so you need to, to determine the scattering matrix which will be s11 s12 s21 and s22 theek hai when it comes to the s11 it is b1 by a2 now when i say i have given input to the port number 2 and i am getting it at the b1 so i can say this is the 30 db ye aapko diya hua hai and it is given into the db's and when i say it's s s21 one ko input hai two ko output hai means it is b2 by a1 which is nothing but the 0.5 db so let us solve this problem it's because the things are very clear so when it comes to the insertion loss when it comes to the insertion loss i can say my insertion loss is equal to 0.5 db now insertion loss loss that's why minus 20 log s21 because it is in the db that's why input you're taking b2 a1 like this so s21 is 10 raised to minus 0.5 by 20 which comes 10 raised to minus 0.025 isolation is also given which is a 30 db so which is equal to Minus twenty log of s one two. ठीक है. So s one two is equal to ten raised to minus thirty by twenty, which comes ten raised to minus one point five. ठीक है. So they are perfectly matched. That's why s one one s two two is equal to zero. So rewriting this matrix, I can take this is zero. S one two is ten raised to minus one point five. S two one is equal to ten raised to minus point not two five, and S two two will be zero. So this is the scattering matrix for isolator when your insertion loss and isolation is given. Okay. So this is all about the isolator. Now let us solve one more problem based on the directional coupler. So this is the problem. A ninety milliwatt power source is connected. to the input of the directional coupler so i'll just draw the directional coupler like this you are having a structure like this theek hai aapka ye port number 1 port number 2 this will be your port number 1 this will be your port number 2 this will be your port number 3 and this will be your port number 4 so if i write whatever given in the problem then port number 
is fed with the 90 milliwatt of power theek hai now it is connected to the input of the directional coupler your coupling factor is 20 db so coupling factor 20 db directivity is given as a 35 db and insertion loss is given as a 0.5 db so find the output powers at the through coupled and isolated ports assume all ports to be matched okay so first thing which we'll see is nothing but what is given that is coupling factor so c is equal to 20 db which is nothing but the 10 log of the input port and the forward port ठीक है सो आपका जो भी इनपुट पोर्ट है वो पोर्ट 1 है फॉरवर्ड पोर्ट आपका पोर्ट 4 है ठीक है एंड दिस इज 20 सो इफ यू सी दिस लॉग ऑफ p1 बाय p4 इज इक्वल टू से यू कैन से 20 डिवाइडेड बाय 10 विल बी 2 एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज सो p1 बाय p4 इज इक्वल टू 100 so, आपका जो input power है, forward power है, उसका ये relation आता है. That's why your P4, या फिर आप इसको forward भी बूल सकते हैं, is equal to PI by 100. So, already you know what is the PI, is 90 bat. That's why your forward power is equal to 0.9 bat. So, I have got a forward power which is 0.9 bat. Now, next one is nothing but the directivity is given, that is 35 dB. So directivity is always the relation of input to the back port and which is given as a 35 dB. So as it is given into the dBs, you can write here 10 log to the best 10. Okay? So 10 log to the best 10, PI by PB is equal to 35. And that's why I can say my PI by PB ratio is equal to 10 raised to 3.5. But PB is equal to pf by 10 raised to 3.5 sorry uh, this is not a pi this is a pf so because it's a directivity forward port to the back port sorry so already we have calculated pf that is 0.9 watt 10 raised to 3.5 which comes to 84.6 micro watts so ab jab hum directional coupler ki baat kar rahe input power you have calculated here it's a time uh, if i see here this is nothing but the 90 milliwatt P2 ka jo bhi power hai aapka forward, sorry, ye wala power aapne 0.9 watt calculate kiya. Back power is 284.6 micro watt. We need to find out what will be the power delivered to the port number 2. So to find out the power delivered to the port number 2, I need to consider all these losses. Okay? So the received power is equal to incident power forward power minus back power okay so it will be 90 minus 0.9 minus 284.6 into 10 raised to minus 6 and that's why received power will be 89.09 watts but again here the received power should be this one but the insertion loss is also given okay so if you're considering the insertion loss here that is 0.5 db okay pehle aapko isko dbs may convert karna padega received power in dbs it will become 10 log to the best 10 pi by pr what will be the received power which is 10 log incident this to minus 1 theek hai so received power in dbs will be 0 0.044 db Okay, and again, effective received power, you need to consider the losses over here. So effective received power will be PR dash, which is nothing but the PR minus insertion loss. Okay, so your PR here is 0.044, your insertion loss is 0.5. So the mm -hmm. effective received power is minus me a minus. 0.455 dBs. So whenever it comes to the received power, you need to distribute that uh, input power into forward back power and then subtract that powers from, um, you can say, the total power, then you'll get the received power. But if the insertion loss is given, then you need to consider that insertion loss also. So you here we have covered problems based on some of the passive components. Uh, so once you understand what is the scattering matrix, you can uh, solve any problems based on that particular passive components. So we'll stop here.